In part two of this series of tutorials, we're going to look at the concept of the contradictory of a claim, distinguish it from the contrary of a claim, define what a contradiction is, and introduce the concepts of consistency and inconsistency when applied to a set of claims. Let A be the claim, John is at the movies. The contradictory of A is defined as a claim that always has the opposite truth value of A. So, whenever A is true, the contradictory of A is false. Whenever A is false, the contradictory of A is true. There are a couple of different ways that people write the contradictory of A. We're going to use the first way, writing it in English as not A. But in textbooks and websites that treat logic in a more formal way, you'll likely see not A written with the tilde, that wavy symbol, or as that corner of a rectangle shape. What does the contradictory assert? It asserts that the claim A is false. There are a couple of ways of saying this, some more natural than others. You can read the contradictory of A as A is false, or John's at the movies is false, or it is not the case that John is at the movies. But the most natural formulation is obviously John is not at the movies. For simple claims like this, it's not too hard to find a natural way of expressing the contradictory. For compound claims, like conjunctions or disjunctions or conditionals, finding the contradictory isn't so simple. And sometimes we have to revert to more formal language to make sure we're expressing the contradictory accurately. In part three, we'll spend some time looking at the contradictories of compound claims. Here's the truth table for the contradictory. It's pretty simple. Whenever A is true, not A is false, and vice versa. Definition is simple, but the concept is important, and it isn't trivial when you're looking at real-world arguments involving more complex claims. For example, when you're debating an issue, it's important that all parties understand what it means for the claim at issue to be true, what it means for it to be false, so that everyone understands what sorts of evidence would count for or against the claim. And this requires that you understand contradictories. So the concept is simple, but you shouldn't think it's trivial.